GH Dog TV, your number one TV for all dog lovers. My name is Adam and I'm a dog lover. Please keep watching DA Dog TV. You're on GH Dog TV, your number one dog TV for all dog lovers. And my name is Solo One. You can call me the dog blogger. Just in case today is your first time on our channel, I'll kindly urge you to kindly subscribe to our channel and then you hit on the notification bell icon to always be updated whenever we drop yet another amazing and exclusive dog content. This program is proudly sponsored by Eminent Dog Feed and Poppy Milk. Just in case you are in need of the right dog feed, poppy milk for your dogs or puppies, don't look anywhere just link up with eminent dog feed and puppy milk on 0244-820-350 0244-820-350 you can also follow us on social media on facebook instagram twitter at gh dog blogger gh dog blogger and also our official website at www.ghdogblogger.com today my guest on the show yeah, today's show is going to be very interesting. I have a young chap on the show. He's a teenager. But then before I get up close with him and check out his dogs right here, don't go anywhere. Stick and stay as we go for a quick break. We'll be back shortly. My name is Solo One. You can call me the dog blogger. Okay, welcome back to the show. This is GH Dog TV, and just as I told you, today I'm getting up close with a young chap. He is a big dog lover, and trust me, today's show is going to be very interesting. We're going to have a chit chat, bro. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Okay, um, I've seen this beautiful dog with you right here. We're going to talk more about the dog, and I've seen some other dogs as well right here. But then, before I like you to say something about yourself introduce yourself to my lovely viewers your name your school your age and all of that uh, my name is carol sobenya pia i'm 13 years old i attend school at Humpty Dumpty, and i'm a big dog lover you are 13 years old yes please wow okay and you you, you attend school at Humpty Dumpty. yes please which class or um, stage are you i'm in jhs2 JHS2, so that means that um, next year you'll be in your final year and you'll be writing your final exams. Yes, please. That's brilliant. So, Karis, um, let, let's start with this. I know you're a young chap, but I know that your love for dogs is a different thing altogether. Yes, as I came here, I've seen you playing with the dogs and all of that. So, I'd like to ask you, how did you become a dog lover? How did, how did the whole thing start? I think when I was somewhere around eight years old, yeah, my grandfather took me to, I think it was Ammonia Kennels, yes, he was going to... You said, um, what age was that, or what age were you, if I could eight. The age of eight, that's like around five years ago. Yeah, he took me to Ammonia Kennels because that time we had been robbed, so he wanted dogs for security. Yeah, then he took us to Ammonia Kennels. He wanted the King Koso, but he couldn't get some at that time. So then after that, like I saw some dogs there and I was very interested in them. And like they looked so good. And when he even gives them commands, they respond very attentively. You see, so then I was like, oh, Papa, dogs are very interesting. Oh, can I get in future? I want to become a veterinarian. I want to get more dogs. Like the way Uncle Ammonia has done his own. Big shout outs to you, Ammonia, right there. Ammonia of Ammonia's kennel. Big shout outs to you. And um, so um, if I'm getting everything well, um, you were robbed. You had been robbed. Your house had been robbed. Yes, please. And so you had gone to Ammonia. I want us to take it step after step. You get it. So your house had been robbed and you went to Ammonia's kennel for a dog. And then, so what, what did you see there that really got you to love them? Like, you see the way the dogs were barking, like, 
you see that that thing the protective instincts of the dogs and their sensitivity like those things yeah those things caught my attention that's why from there you became a dog lover a dog lover other animals so i mostly watch national geographic yeah, on geographic. yeah so aside the dog which other animals do you like i like the lion the aquatic animals mostly the aquatic animals i see some especially mostly in the night when the aquatic animals are glowing you see the colors like they blossom in the night that's why so if you are going to be a superhero you are going to be aquaman something like that <laughs> Nice one, nice one, nice one. I, I, I love the build up. So um, we are building up from when you went to Ammonia's Kennel, you saw the dogs, you love the dog. And did you get a dog since you said you were going for a cane course? Did you get a dog at Ammonia's Kennel at that time? Nah, we went to Sean Kennels before we got, I think we got a Rottweiler puppy. But then she died because the, our neighbor's dog was sick so i think i don't know it transmitted or something like was it pavo do you know pavo yes please was it pavo i don't know the doctor didn't tell us the two the doctor took it to the hospital then he told us that the dog is still alive you bring it back for five months we didn't hear from him when they called him he said that the dog is still alive no knowing my grandparents didn't want us to know that the dog was dead yes else you cry or you feel bad yeah had to hide the story for about five months yeah before we we found out ourselves that Bruma is dead her name was Bruma. was a female or male a female oh, oh, oh she, she died as a puppy then after that they went to buy a boom master for us his name was rocky yes yeah, so i think we were screwed then after that when i go home my grandfather called and he was like i have a surprise for you go to the back and go and check there and I was like, okay, when I went, I saw the dog in the cage. He was like, he was barking, but he didn't like me at first, but it took some time, something to build that bond, which we have now. But as of now, as we speak, Rocky died three weeks ago. Yes, I think at the age of seven. Yes, he died three weeks ago from some sickness. We took him crossing, then that do- the female dog there was sick. So, yeah, and he died. Rocky, Rocky, rest in peace, Rocky. So when you got back from, I'm sure you you had come back from school or something of that sort, and you coming back to see Rocky, how was the reaction like? How did you feel? And was Rocky was Rocky um, a puppy or? Yeah, no, by that time he was three months. Yes, I think they imported him from London. So when he got to Ghana, he was somewhere around two months. He was with Sean, Uncle Sean, he was at Sean Kennels. So then later, then they went for him somewhere around three, four months. When I would go home, I was like, ah, Papa, is it a dog? Is this someone's dog which you just brought to you or something like that? And he was like, oh, it's for you guys. Then I was like, oh, Papa, thank you. When I saw him, I was like, hey, when this dog bites me, I feel, yes, maybe the dog feels insecure. He might bite me or something like that. So then... I just went the next morning. I went to his cage before I left for school. I went to his cage. I just kept on looking at him. Then he allowed me to pet him, touch his back. Then, yeah. Then from there, we were on a cool way. Like everything was going well from there. Nice one. So, aside the dog, have you had any other pets? Any other pets aside the dog? Any other pets? Nah yes for that in the future for me i'm thinking in the future there i want to become something more bigger than so you know dr Poo, the incredible dr Poo on national geographic i want to do what dr Poo has done at times some other vets cannot do yes but for me i want to do more than what dr Poo has done to build a bigger kennel in kumasi and also in Accra, a hospital for dogs then a very big compound where we keep only dogs then everything about dogs everything about dogs and other animals especially the aquatic animals so i want to have a small area for the marine mm-hmm. parts then i keep some small i start with the small aquatic animals then i see where it goes from there wow this is beautiful you can he's just 13 years old and you can hear his story right there he, he he is aspiring to reach 
greater greater height but then you mentioned something earlier and even just now i think you also um chipped it in you said you you want to be a veterinarian when you grow up and what actually has inspired you or actually given you the idea to even think of something like that like what has really pushed you well i saw that number one it's very nice when you are just standing there then animals you see big dogs then horses then the rest then they are coming to the vet how to take care of them it's very nice at first when i said it other people's thoughts like oh carissa carissa are you thinking well something has malfunction in your head or something like that yeah but i just like there it was just a feeling this came at once i think that i was around when i was eating i saw it that time i was around nine ten and we were watching Dr. Pooh, we were watching the show one night and I was like, Papa, in the future I want to become like Dr. Pooh or even more than what Dr. Pooh is doing. I want to do more than what Dr. Pooh is doing. Um, what was your dad's reaction after he said that? My grandfather. That your grandfather, okay. Nakura, he was like, oh, you can do it. It would be very nice. But you need to focus on the studies. Then from the studies from science, you can build on it because he said, because you see, the human cell you have only every human being one spinal cord mm -hmm. but you see animals all animals every animal has a different spinal cord so all of that different different mm -hmm. so then yeah so my dream is to study hard then after that i can become what i want to be in the future so the veterinarian and all that happened after you had gone to check out the dogs at ammonia's kennel and stuff like that yeah. Why, what did you see there I saw some dogs in the kennel itself, then he took me to a different place. Yeah, I think you have been there before on your previous show. Yeah, yeah he took me to a different place where there are Rottweilers and some other dogs there. Yeah, and it looked nice, like just entering the house to see such dogs around. Like, you won't think twice, you just go back. If you are come to rob the person, you just go back. You not think about doing something like that. And I felt that, oh, as a male, it is your duty to keep the... <laughs> still, I was young, but I felt that as a male, it's your duty to keep the whole family safe. So I kept on talking with my father and my grandfather that, let's get this dog, let's get this dog. So then we got the bull mastiff, we got the French mastiff. Yes, Bongo, yeah. And after that, I just felt like mixing a buabu with another buabu. So I went to, yeah, so I asked my uncle if he has a friend who has a buabu. So he went to a friend called Uncle Kofi. Then I crossed it with the buabus. Then I got some other mixed buabus there. They are not full buabus, but they are more of buabus than the other breeds. Yes, so then for me, one thing I like to do is to bring out my own breed, but that is not that acceptable, you yeah. see. They, you need to put it in records. Even if I come out with my own breed, it's not going to be recognized. Yeah. I need to get it put in records, so I'm waiting for the future then. You so see where we go from there. <laughs> so you're actually, you're, you're actually hoping that someday you can bring out your own dog breed? Yes, please. Something which is... I want a dog with the French master fees, mm -hmm. the height of a green dean, mm -hmm. the sensitivity of a German shepherd, mm -hmm. then the body form of a buabu. Wow. <laughs> Lovely viewers, the show is getting very interesting. You can see um, this young man here, he's uh, um, um, this chap here, he's 13 years old. He's a teenager, and you can see what he's been saying so far is really getting interesting and even me right now I'm, I'm 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 learning something from him how he's aspiring to be more than dr poe and all of that bro now i've seen you with this beautiful dog right here and there are other dogs as well here and one thing i noticed is as i came to your house today i've noticed that your grandfather is a dog lover your brothers are dog lovers it's like almost all of your family you all love dogs what was the secret who actually passed it or is it your grandfather who spread the love or what it was mostly my other brother he was like 
carries these dogs after seeing these dogs we need to get such big dogs then we we'll go and do our own breeding then we we'll be taking care of dogs now so then that time when they buy credit on the router yeah. we put like we don't use it till saturday by saturday we are done with all our school work and the rest so saturday we we'll sit down i had this book we used to sit down then we write every dog breed mm-hmm. we write the height of the male and the females you see mostly dogs the females the males are mostly taller than the females we write the height we write the weight where the country they came from and some small histories about those dogs but the book got missing so then now i think my elder brother has one with him but i don't know where he has put it so maybe i might ask him if he can give it to me then one of these days we continue on again so do you still but do you still remember some of the breeds you wrote down and where they are from do you remember can you remember a few uh, i think this one the giant nozzle or something mm-hmm. like that. was it from germany or something like that but before you can even recall let's do let's do a quick thing like name to 10 dog breeds you know can you name 10 yeah. like what's the best you can name what number can you name okay like how many do you think you can name 20, 30, they're about 20, 30. Lovely viewers, this young chap says he can name 20 to 30 dog breeds. So I'm going to give him the chance to name them. So let, let, let's start up, bro. Um, the Great Dane, One. the Greyhound, the German Shepherd, the Doberman, the Rottweiler, the Buabu, Boo Mastiff. French Mastiff, Caucasian Shepherd, and the uh, Tibetan Mastiff, Neapolitan Mastiff, then this dog reference, the Wolfhound, then the Siberian Husky, the Akita, the Schnauzer, the Shih Tzu, the Chihuahua, the Tusa Inu, then this dog, oh, I like this dog so much. I just the mini pincher, yes, the mini pincher, then the the Labrador, the good, the Labrador, okay. a golden retriever, Pittsburgh, mm-hmm. Staffordshire Terrier, mm-hmm. the French Bulldog, mm-hmm. then the American Bully. Then, pa, 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 wow 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 he has already named 25 dog breeds and it's even still counting and it's even still counting trust me i can see you really 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 love dogs you even mentioned the tosa inu which is not a very common dog yes yes it takes somebody who does a lot of research the schnauzers because they are not common in ghana it takes someone who really researches about dogs and stuff to find out so you're just there and you are browsing to search about dogs or what yes yes most most of the time when i wake up after praying brushing your teeth and bathing and eating then if i don't have any school work or my classes teachers are not there or it's not time for me to learn then I spend some time, I search about them, then I watch YouTube videos, then my little brothers who come, they were like, hey, Karis, we also want to know more about what you are doing now. So then all of us, then we sit down, then we start searching, then you see, then we play, we mostly play this game, name the dog breed from A to Z. Okay. Yes, so then I mention a letter, he names a dog breed. My other brother also mentions a letter, I name a dog breed. Then the other one too. He mentions a letter, I name a dog breed. Then that's how we kept on playing. So then let me ask you this. Um, I'd like you to tell me about your favorite dog breed and which dog breed you, you, you dream of owning someday in future. Um, for I have two actually. The Great Dean and the Doberman Pincher. Yes, the because of the height, the Great Dean, I just, I don't know, I feel the dog, like, I feel the dog's vibes. Mm-hmm. Mostly people see the gentle giants and the rest. 
yeah it's quiet to something like an inside dog you be inside you be inside with the dog they do doberman painter because of security reasons for security reasons i also picked the doberman painter wow this is beautiful so which one is your favorite and which one is your dream dog of owning or you you put the doberman painter is my favorite and my dream dog of owning is the great dean nice one that's beautiful we'll be we'll be wrapping up the interview pretty soon and we'll check out the other dogs as well but then before we do that what's the name of this beautiful dog right here bungu he's a french mastiff bungu french mastiff i wish bungu could stand up so that we could see him properly bungu come on beautiful 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 that's bungu right there wow 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 so how old is bungu bungu is Yes, yes, yes. Yes, he is a French mastiff. He, I also got him from Sean Kennels. Yeah, I got him when he was around one month, two months. So your grandfather bought him for you? Yes. I think when we went there, they were about six to seven meals there, and they were like, pick your dream dog. Then you could see this dog misbehaving and walking around, then keeps, when he keeps on walking there, he'll be falling, then he'll be playing. So I was like, I, I, I feel this dog. Then I told grandpa that I wanted this exact breed. Yeah. And what do you like about Bongo, or what memory of Bongo can you never forget? Mm, that the last time, I think. The first dog I ever went for crossing with was Bungo. Yes, at that time I didn't know how we do it. I didn't know how they do it, or even if you do crossing ticks. But I all I knew about all I knew about the crossing that time was that it took the female two months for her to give birth. So then we took it for crossing. The man helped us. They locked everything. Then after two months later, I went and he was like, oh, the few months considered, I was like, we thank God. Then he gave me two puppies. Yes. Wow, 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 wow. This is, this is beautiful, lovely viewers. I'm right here with 13-year-old Karis, and his story is very interesting. You can check out Bongo, very beautiful. I'm already in love with Bongo right here. But then, um, bro, before we go, this program is proudly, before we check out the other dogs, this program is proudly sponsored by Eminent Dog Feed and Poppy Milk. Just in case you want to well, get a dog feed for yourself with the right nutritional content, Poppy Milk, link up with Eminent Dog Feed and Poppy Milk. Their number is 244 350 and i have i have some gifts right here that i'll be giving to you from eminent dog feed these are some sample dog feed from eminent sample dog feeds from eminent yes we have the eminent gold yes these are sample we're giving out free from eminent dog feed sample this is eminent gold and we have the eminent energy so you can give it to the dogs and they try it. So uh, just in case they love it, you can get it at any pet shop, Eminent Dog Feed. We have the large sizes right there. These are just samples of Eminent Energy. And this is Eminent Gold right there. Yes, yes, yes. So these are gifts from our sponsors, Eminent Dog Feed and Poppy Milk. Thank you. You're always welcome. And lovely viewers, we are going to check out the other dogs right now. But then, you know, this this has always been my favorite part. I love checking the other dogs. But then, if this is your first time of watching a video on this channel, you kindly subscribe to our channel and then you hit on the bell icon to always be updated whenever we drop another exclusive dog content. My name is Solo One. You can call me the dog blogger. Don't go anywhere. Stick and stay. Okay, bro, so there's this beautiful dog right here. Can you tell us something about this dog as well? Yes, this dog's name is King. King okay. Yes, King. Then he's somewhere a Buabu mix. Okay. Yes, his father was, his father was, I think, Bungo's brother. Okay. And a, a Buabu. Okay. Yes, so you say a French Mastiff and a Buabu mix. Yes. How old is he and what do you like about King?
King is 11 months now and I like the way he's big. He's big. Yeah, he's very big. Yeah. And I think I've seen another one. He's also similar. Is that a little mate of his? Yeah, his little brother. Okay, 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 okay. Then he will also come and we check him out. Yes, let, we call him last baby because okay. he's the last born. Yeah, his name is Gaddafi. So when we are that's Gaddafi, we'll check out Gaddafi. So this is Kim. So what do you like about Kim? Mm, the way he's sensitive, he's attentive, like some of those features which I mentioned earlier on. Yeah, that's what I like about King. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Lovely viewers, that is King right there. Come on, King. Come on, good boy, good boy, good boy. Come on, come here, come here, come here, come here. That's King right there. Okay, lovely viewers, now let's check out Gaddafi as well. Yeah, his name is Gaddafi. Yeah, he's also 11 months old. He's the dog which came last. Mm -hmm. Yes. And for this dog, he's very special to, let me say, my little brothers. Mm -hmm. Because when he was young, they are the ones who took care of him. Yeah. When he was sick, that time I was here. Mm -hmm. And they were at our old house at Dabai. So he got sick then. Early in the morning, my little brothers would wake up, they put the dog on their laps, then they feed it, then they take care of it, everything like that. So. Wow, wow, wow. So what do you like about Gaddafi as well? Yeah. Like, when you're down, he's some of those consoling dogs. Okay. Yes. And he also likes to play around. Mm. But when it comes to security, when I'm not around and it's left with only him, then mm -hmm. it's a different story. I can't even sit here if you're not around, right? Nah, it's a different story. Like, some a very good guard dog. Yes. Wow, mostly, this is. I realize that mostly mixed breeds are unpredictable because mm -hmm. you don't know what you pick from the mother's side or yeah. the father's side. So that's the same thing about him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So at times when I'm not, a, even at times when I'm around, he doesn't feel safe. Like King, at times when I'm around and he even sees you coming, still. He feels that instinct that he has come to do something to me, so he has to attack you, see. Yeah, it's yeah. Really it's, it's more of the protective kind of dog. Yeah. Those are the dogs which mostly I'll train for, I train. Mm -hmm. Like I want to train, but for inside dogs, yeah, as I, was, as I said, the great thing. Mm -hmm. And something like the toy dogs, my little brother, for instance, his next birthday, I'll try to see if I can get him a toy dog, maybe a Maltese, a Poodle, or a Schnauzer. Because he said that's his dream dog. Yeah. So for my little brothers. Yeah. Nice one, lovely viewers. So these are the dogs that belong to Karis. Yes, yes, yes. And he has really said a whole lot of things. So Karis, before we sign out, we are, we are closing the show very soon. Before we sign out, I'd like you to give... A word of advice to people who do not own dogs. Tell them something about dogs. And then, I know you're on social media. You leave out your social media handle yeah. and stuff like that. Dogs are very wonderful. Then, if you are young and people are telling you that to become a veterinarian is something which you don't need. And yeah. if you're a veterinarian, it's no good. Don't listen to people like that. When people say that, don't listen to them. Pursue your dreams like... That is something which you love. Uh, if you love to take care of dogs, and if you are ready for it or you are committed to do it, yeah, then do it. Yes. Nice one. This is beautiful. Today on the show, I had Karis, who is a 13-year-old boy, who says he wants to grow up to be a veterinarian. We've talked about a whole lot of things, and I'm sure you learned something, and the show was interesting as well. But then, if this is your first time of watching a video on this channel, you kindly subscribe to our channel, and then you follow us on social media at GH Dog Blogger on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, everywhere at GH Dog Blogger. And this program is also proudly sponsored by Eminent Dog Feed and puppy milk if you are in need of the right dog feed for your dogs just link up with them 0244-820-350 maybe you want to reach gh dog tv pick the number on our screen 055-328-4056 055-328-4056 my name is solo one you can call me the dog blogger thanks so much for watching and catch you another time my name is Jaden Obinapia and I'm a dog lover. Please keep watching GA Dog TV.
GH Dog TV, your number one TV for all dog lovers.